Well, they are busy bumblebees. Well, welcome back, my gardening friends. Uh, nice to see the uh, bumblebees enjoying themselves. And looks like I've oh, got a few caterpillars there enjoying themselves. They can go in the compost heap to uh, help uh, break up uh, that. Uh, one reason we should have a net on, but there again, the uh, little blighters, the uh, butterflies will lay their eggs through the netting if they can. But yeah, we're talking uh, brassicas, uh, as in the title, Thompson Morgan's blog, uh, bro Broccoli and Calabrese uh, Masterclass. And uh, I have got my video uh, in their masterclass uh, this, uh, this time round. Last year it was my uh, peas in the guttering. And uh, this time it's my purple sprouting broccoli video and the trials that I did all those uh, years ago. Uh, these are all new beds and I think they're maturing nicely now. We put loads of loads of organic materials and it was probably a little bit too strong uh, for the plants. But I wanted to grow. I do plant them close together but it does help uh, with some of the weeding and hopefully we'll get some of the uh, purple uh, graffiti cauliflowers this time I've only ever grew one really good graffiti cauliflower never been able to grow the white ones but Charles Dowding is also in the um, blog uh, this month sharing his skills experiences knowledge and the link to it will be in the description below so just uh, in the one corner there'll be a little upturned v press that and that'll bring the description box across to the right hand side for you to um, maybe pay a visit and watch my video i shan't put it on the end screen uh, there's some later sown calabrese and there's my uh, Brussels sprouts for this year. We've got three different varieties, uh, Brody, F1, and uh, I think there's a Red Bull, and then the Crispus uh, F1, my personal uh, favourite. And I must get uh, these either staked up or something around these to stop them uh, flopping over. But it's surprising what you can learn from others. That's why I share my uh, experiences. And then any ideas I get off anybody else, I put my own spin on them. And as we know, especially the sprouting uh, broccoli, it's probably in the ground for 11 months before you get any rewards. But when you do, if you look after it properly, uh, it, does, uh, it does pay you back with uh, lots and lots of uh, nice uh, florets so we've got the purple sprout in there we've just looked at the claret perennial kale the caterpillars are loving that uh, some calibos uh, cabbage there so overall considering we haven't got a net on uh, they're doing quite well but they will need netting this net here is just to stop the pigeons flying in and if you can stop them landing on your beds, well, it's not landing on the beds, they'll land on top of your brassicas, especially the sprouts. If you can stop them doing that, then you ain't got all the uh, bird poop and everything else and taking the complete tops out of uh, your brassicas. This is mainly in the winter, so hopefully I'll get time to get uh, the other net on that off another net like that onto there and uh, onto uh, this one and that might help stop uh, them falling over I'm sure they're having a race to see who can eat the leaf, most of the leaf and then the other one drops off this damage on the leaves 
um, the actual brassicas are now uh, growing out of it and I believe it was uh, aphids I think they've uh, done their business reproduced and uh, disappeared uh, leaving the marks but it certainly hasn't stopped it from uh, producing some uh, uh, nice uh, heads there chuffed to bits with them I grow I grow that many thinking I might get one or two but very very pleased with those another weed but uh, having uh, raised beds uh, I don't have to bend down far to uh, take a few out and uh, normally I'm on top of the weeds but this year uh, they've uh, really gone out of hand I've been hoeing but the trouble is we've been getting rain ideally you need to hoe the weeds when it's uh, get a couple of three dry, days dry weather but there shouldn't be many weeds in there they've got nowhere to to grow but uh, yes very very happy with uh, all my brassicas this uh, time and if you want to see my video then uh, pop down to the uh, Thompson and Morgan blog the masterclass and get a few tips from all the great bloggers that are there uh, this time round on their broccoli and uh, calabrese masterclass happy gardening to you all till next time my friends for now.